to wear this rather scary looking apparatus here. So if you'd like to put this on please. Okay. Now all Chris needs to do is just breathe. So if you breathe, uh, now he's breathing out. So if you breathe in, now as he breathes in, okay, the air is coming through this tube, bubbling through the solution here. And as he breathes out, it comes out of this one. Okay. So in, this one, out, that one. Now you just keep breathing there and we'll be showing you what's going on. I'm coming back round here. Now what Chris is doing there, he's converting his food with the oxygen into carbon dioxide. Now I thought we'd make a little bit of carbon dioxide over here. So I have a, a cylinder of oxygen, two cylinders of oxygen. So this is pure oxygen gas. And I'm going to make some carbon dioxide by heating up some carbon and allowing this to react with the oxygen in the gas jar. So heating up the carbon here, you need to get it nice and hot. So keep breathing, Chris, don't forget. Okay, heating up the carbon, and I'm going to pop this into the gas jar. And you can see it's reacting, it's glowing very, very brightly. And this is the carbon reacting with the oxygen in the flask here to form carbon dioxide. Now, we need to heat it up to get the two to react. If I just put in some carbon without heating it, well, nothing really happens at all. But how do we know if something has reacted, apart from the fact that we can see it glowing here, how do we know we've formed some carbon dioxide? Well, this is the solution that Chris is bubbling through at the moment. This is called lime water, or, well, the technical term for this would be calcium hydroxide solution. I'm going to add some of this to the gas jars here. So first of all, to the one with the, uh, that we heated up. Like so, and then add some to the one that we haven't heated. And now I'm going to shake, give them a little bit of a shake. And one of these, this one that we reacted, you can see is going slightly cloudy. This one isn't going cloudy. And the cloudiness that we see here is due to the formation of calcium carbonate. Well, we can show this what's going on here on the, on the, with the slides. So we have carbon that's been heated up with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide. And then that's combining with the calcium hydroxide, the lime water, to form calcium carbonate. The calcium carbonate, well, it's actually chalk, and this doesn't dissolve in water, and this chalk is precipitating out, and that's what makes the solution look cloudy. So if we come back to Chris now, you can very clearly see that the in one that's just had air going through this but there's not very much carbon dioxide in the air. You can carry and breathe in a bit. Oh, that's it. <laughs> right, so the, air, the in one isn't very cloudy, but the out one has changed. We can see that this is quite cloudy now because of the carbon dioxide that Chris has made in his body by reacting his food with the oxygen. Thank you very much, Chris. Well done. <laughs> Now, before I um, go on to show you some of the properties of carbon dioxide, I also want to heat up a little bit more carbon. So we have some carbon burning here. Thank you. And I'm going to add some of this. Is this any burning bits? Just that little bit. OK. I've got some burning carbon here, some more charcoal. So this is also going to react with some air, but I'm going to put the lid on this container. And there'll be a slight difference. We'll come back to this one later. But again, it's just allowing the carbon to combine with some of the oxygen from the air. But we'll, we'll come back to that in a bit. We might need to, uh, we might detect when something happens with that. Anyway, back to our carbon dioxide. I want to look 